If you head to Glenwood South for dinner in Raleigh, finding an open table could be a little more challenging than if you choose a restaurant around Moore Square. And WRL's Ali Ingersoll is looking at how some areas in the city are seeing historic sales while others continue to struggle. May was a big month for businesses in downtown Raleigh. The spring was tremendous. That's Stephen Day, owner of Plates on Glenwood South. The restaurant has been around in this location for almost a decade, and they're doing four times as much business now as they were in the beginning, according to Day. I just envisioned that the sidewalk would be full and people would be walking and and the, the, it would be a, a real neighborhood rather than just the pass through for people coming from North Raleigh to downtown. Well, the Downtown Raleigh Alliance's second quarter report shows that May had the highest food and beverage sales on record. That really varies on where you are. The Glenwood South area is really driving up all of those numbers, but the data shows that the core here, this area, is still struggling. On the good side, we saw some growth in the Moore Square District, which was really positive, and that's a district along with the Fayetteville Street District that have been hit really hard. Bill King with the Downtown Raleigh Alliance says this area is reliant on business traffic, both from locals and those making trips to the area. And that hasn't fully rebounded. So while sales here are up 65% year over year, they're still lagging behind where they were before the pandemic. We still see a difference in where recovery has happened and the pace it's recovered at. Business owners around Moore Square told me that they're hoping to meet with city leaders in the coming week so they can discuss that recovery and they aren't left behind. In Raleigh, Allie Ingersoll, WRAL News.